Musculocutaneous nerve, anatomy, pain, and block. The musculocutaneous nerve originates from C5, 6, and 7. Branch of the lateral cord, which as you see here, the lateral cord also give you the lateral pectoral nerve. But when the lateral cord continue, it give you the musculocutaneous nerve. And as you see here, that's the course of the musculocutaneous nerve mainly in the anterior compartment of the arm. So the nerve um, branch again from the lateral cord of the preclip plexus arising opposite to the lower border of the pectoralis major. So the pectoralis major, although it's not in this picture, but as you imagine, it's, it's around here. So lateral border of the pectoralis major. And the nerve penetrates the coracobrachialis muscle, as you see here, and then it passes obliquely in the interfacial muscle plane between the biceps brachii, superficial, and the brachialis underneath. So you see the brachialis starts from here, goes down. So it's in this interfacial plane block. And then it innervates all the three muscles, the coracobrachialis, the biceps, and the brachialis, as well as the elbow joint. It then emerges on the lateral side of the arm and peers deep uh, uh, to the uh, deep fascia lateral to the tendon of the biceps brachii as you see in the image, and continue in the forearm as the lateral cutaneous nerve, or some references call it the lateral cutaneous antibrachial nerve, or the lateral antibrachial nerve of the forearm. So the musculocutaneous nerve, again, comes from C5, 6, and 7. In the axilla, it gives you the coracobrachialis branch. and the arm, it gives you the biceps and brachialis, elbow joint and the forearm it continue as the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm so how this pain how this nerve pain present before that let's go briefly over the potential causes of the musculocutaneous nerve injury or irritation so trauma is the most common cause it can be penetrating like knife wound in the arm or a blunt, like kickboxers, there are some case reports there, uh, or compression in the interfacial muscle uh, uh, plane between the biceps and the brachialis. And this can also happen in bodybuilders or pitchers. Um, there are some reported cases with the distal biceps rupture because of the close proximity, as I showed you, elbow joint injury and surgery, and cephalic vein cannulation at the cubital fossa. As I will show you how close the lateral cutaneous branch to the cephalic vein. It's more superficial than the radial nerve at this level. So how this present? Um, the weakness usually depend on the level of injury. So if the injury high enough and it involve, it's above the coracobrachialis, branch so you will get some coracobrachialis weakness which means shoulder weakness um, and then of course at the elbow or mid uh, arm you will get uh, the branches of the biceps uh, and, and brachialis uh, so that will affect the flexion of the forearm and the supination the sensation is uh, uh, at the elbow and the lateral aspect of the forearm, as you see here. And, and, and usually, um, the injury of this nerve present more as a pain and sensory deficit uh, more than uh, weakness, because these muscles, they have, uh, most of them, they have innervation from other nerves. 
So how we block this nerve? Uh, this is at the axillary level. As you remember here, your friend is the axillary artery. And you can see the median ulnar and radial nerve. And here the musculocutaneous nerve between the coracobrachialis and the biceps. Uh, this is in the majority of the cases. However, sometimes, sometimes about 13%, the musculocutaneous nerve can be uh, within the sheath and uh, close to the axillary artery or sometimes uh, merging with the median nerve. So here is um, a study that published uh, a few years ago. So um, in A, you will see the musculocutaneous nerve between the coracobrachialis and biceps muscle, which is the uh, classic um, or most common presentation as, as I showed you in the previous slide. Here, the nerve is very close to the axillary artery. Here in C, it is within the coracobrachialis muscle. And here in D, it is um, almost fused uh, with the median nerve. So it's important to keep this anatomical variation in mind when, when scanning. Um, but again, it is usually in the interfacial plane, muscle plane, between the coracobrachialis. Uh, and then as you go down, you, then you start to see the brachialis and the biceps superficial to the nerve. Uh, here is another uh, nice illustration. And by the way, this is from a case report where they use a peripheral nerve simulator um, for uh, uh, refractory anti-cubital elbow pain. So you see the nerve here, it's in the interfacial muscle uh, plane uh, between the biceps and the uh, brachialis uh, muscle. If you go farther down here, just at the elbow level, you will see it course lateral, and it's very close to the cephalic vein. So that's that's the nerve. And if you notice here, of course, our friend here, the the brachial artery and the recurrent, uh, sorry, brachial nerve and the recurrent brachial artery between the brachioradialis and the uh, brachialis. So as you uh, imagine, which makes a lot of sense, the lateral anticubitus cutaneous nerve is more superficial at uh, this level. Thank you for watching. I hope you find